Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 356. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Hello. And Tony Korkanakis. I'm a leg. What's up, guys? Welcome uh, <laughs> listeners, welcome viewers to episode 356, the Movie Cast edition. Um, we're going to kick it off with the box office. We're going to move into uh, some uh, like awesomeness of what we've been up to. Um, we all got to watch a, well, not all of us, but three of us got to watch probably one of the best episodes uh, of Game of Thrones, I think, right? Yeah, it's definitely up there. I mean, it's the best this season, obviously. but I think one of the best episodes. I'm making that statement of one of the <laughs> no, best. I probably, understand. It's probably top five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. I mean, there are things that happen in the book that are obviously great things, and this had a great sequence. I mean, one of the best sequences. For yeah, sure. yeah, I think, um, I, mean, I mean, obviously there's, using the initials RW, um, there's some other sequences in the books and movie that, uh, and movie and show that uh, are amazing, like like jaw-dropping, but this was pretty mm-hmm. jaw-dropping as well. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, it's just, again, we're getting the stuff that we've been waiting for mm-hmm. for years. Seven yeah. years! Yeah, yeah, we're mm-hmm. getting, uh, we're getting so... reunions, we're getting... Deaths nope. of characters. We're getting uh, dragons. Dragons fighting. Just say it, dragons. We're getting dragons fighting, uh, which is what we've been waiting for as well. So, well, not fighting each other, just destroying things. Dragons fighting. I mean, that's what they are. So. And I'm, they're not fighting each other. They're I'm trying to be vague. Fighting Corey, you're giving up spoilers. I'm trying to be vague. I'm just if saying. If you care not about the show, other. you have watched it. Oh. If you cared about spoilers, you've watched it already. I mean, I'm just saying they're not. You make it sound like dragons are fighting each other. They're not no, fighting. No, each other. no, it's but I'm dragons are fucking shit up. I'm trying to be literally vague about this. I mean, it's lit. You're right. Literally. Right. I mean, the episode did. So 10, you guys just want to do this now? So go ahead. The, the episode <laughs> did 10.2 million viewers uh, after it got leaked. That's after the leak, it, which is the yeah. highest viewed episode ever of uh, Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones piracy is higher than it's ever been, as well as the viewership legally yeah. is higher than yeah. it's ever been. <laughs> so they think that the hype from the leak actually helped the episode. Yeah, absolutely. So because it's higher than the premiere, which was ten point one. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. And things are happening. Like yeah, finally. Yeah. No thanks to George R. R. Martin. No, uh, we get we get our you know reunions. Fuck that guy. Uh, we Fuck get some. Do you guys think that like? Like, Littlefinger, I don't know. I'm just waiting for, like, a monster death from him. Like, you know, are we Oh, waiting? he's not living this past this. I don't think he is either. I, I, it, that look already gave him? Yeah. That was, yeah. you gonna, you going to die. Yeah, I mean, and I think I think Bran, you know, knowing what he did, clearly knowing oh, what yeah. he did. Oh, yeah, uh, clearly. Yeah. You know, the dagger, and he, I was reading about the reference he made to a ladder. Um, yep. cha- chaotic chaos hunt, ladder. Yeah, chaos ladder. Which is what he said to Varys uh, early in season in a three, private, I think. Yeah, season yeah. three. I gotta say, Bran, I hate that character. Yeah. I hate that actor. Yeah. He is so hard to fucking understand. Happily, and I had rewatched that. Like, Dude, I put subtitles time. on because yeah. I can't understand what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Terrible. Terrible. I see that. Like, he, he's, yeah, he's been bad. Uh, I, I think, I mean, they're going for the emotionless kind of thing, and, uh, and I guess it works for him, but uh, no, it's, it's weird. Not really. <laughs> I, it works. I mean, he's supposed to be the the three eyed raven. So, yeah, but the three eyed raven wasn't this weird. No, he wasn't. You're right. You're right. But Bran's being overwhelmed by it. He kind of got thrust into that role. There was no training. Remember, he said, "You're gonna have to know this now." Whatever, uh, Hoder. I don't want to talk about him. I'll talk about the rest of the episode. Yeah, but uh, I mean, the rest of the episode was amazing. Um, a couple of convenience. I, I was reading a couple of people like upset about the episode. Believe it or not. Because of the convenience factor of things, and there I'm like, some convenience factors. But come on, Absolutely. this is this is fucking TV, guys. It's convenience yeah. factor always. I mean, that's that's how it works with every show, not just Game of Thrones. Yeah. So there were definitely some convenient things, but it's part of the. Sh- I mean, I expect it. I expect it. Mm-hmm. So, like, the last sequence, the last sequence of the episode, I think, was the most convenient factor. That was that was like oh shallow water and then yeah. fucking bottomless pit. Yep. Yeah, so I think that uh, I just find that whole sequence was convenient, but uh, I obviously for dramatic effect. Do you guys think we see those characters again? Yes. Cor- uh, Tony. Like the both, both characters. No, both characters. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. That's not how they're going out? I mean, yeah, no. It, if we're going to get a character death, or like it's going to be confirmed 100%, not this vague fucking bullshit. Uh, we're not going to pull minute, Walking though. Dead. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, though. The Martells are done with the series. They're done. They won't be back on the show. And they never got a clear death of that of the uh, the the Viper, uh, the, the the Viper's wife. Wait, that's her. That was her last scene in yep. the, in she the show. She confirmed that she's not on. The, she's not coming back to the show after that. She's done. I don't believe that. No, she confirmed it. She's that's it. She's working on another show now. I. She's working don't on another TV show. Believe that. She's working. Just because you're working on one TV show now doesn't mean you've already you haven't already filmed stuff for. Yeah, they could have already shows. recorded. You so know, when, when she stuff. comes out and says that's my last sequence of the show. That's you don't believe it. I don't. Do you want me to link oh. it? Can we link the I don't care. Okay. No, Jim, you can link it. I'm just saying I People don't believe. People say I'm not things, Jim. I mean, going you were just happen. last week. You were saying, "Oh, Yondu and then all this other garbage," and you can't believe anything. Mis- misdirection? You think? I I don't know. I don't know misdirection. I I don't believe. I'm not saying it's not going to ha- happen, but I'm just saying I don't believe that. Okay. All right. All right. But as far as like main character i wouldn't consider her to be like one of the primary characters no, and, I, and I, you know i was thinking like during that sequence i was wondering like the last time we saw that like major characters against each other on a battlefield like i'm trying to think like what's that they haven't been they haven't, there hasn't been so. yeah they said they said that in the the after show yeah this is the first time like two prominent characters are actually going at each other yeah so i thought that was barely, that was cool barely 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 you're right you're right mm-hmm. a lot of convenience there in that fight but you know, it was still an awesome fight. Uh, I thought that whole sequence was was pretty fucking brutal. I loved yeah, it. it was so awesome. I loved it. So, um, yeah, I, I thought that was great. I was waiting for that to show up, like the the silence. Like, there's no more. I love like I'm trying to be vague here with the listeners, but I love the sequence of like just the eerie silence and all like the actual people knew what was going, like the generals knew what was going on at that point. Being vague and who's there, to, you know, or in case you didn't see it, but. Mm-hmm. Just like, oh shit, arms to arms to arms. You know, everybody's grabbing their shields. Um, it's just too <laughs> silent. It was too quiet. Um, yeah. But I thought it was cool. So, um, but yeah, so good episode though. I really, like I said, one of the top five episodes of the show easily. Uh, yep, and I just absolutely. don't know, I don't know exactly where it falls in the top five, but it is one of the top five. Yeah, I hope the rest of the season keeps up the momentum. I, mean, I think that it just, it's been getting better and better. And like, yeah. again, I. I because our J.R. R. Martin, or George R. R. Martin, George, R. R. George yeah. he's uh, he has said there will be a Game of Thrones book that comes out next year. Yeah, and okay. I believe <laughs> but that. It doesn't, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna be because uh, he's doing the Targaryen. Yeah. Book. Does it have to be Words of Winter? No, he's it's doing probably a not. It's he's gonna be that the Targaryen yeah. book, yeah. whatever that is, the Blood Blood something. That's probably going to be coming which out next year. He's not proves, writing the mainline which fucking. Further Game of proves the fact that he's got ri- he's got writer's block. I, I further proves that he's got writer's block for that that series. Like he just he, he like wrote himself into a corner. I, I thoroughly yeah. believe that. So I mean I don't know if I believe that because then how are the show writers finishing the series? They probably were they told has, just make like, shit up. They, no, they've got an outline and then they can fill it in. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what I'm thinking too. I, I think he's they like, know where they have to get to, this and is then, yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah. It's a song of ice and fire. This is how it ends. But how we get there, I have no clue. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. It's and now just... if the show influences the books, I'm going to be pissed. He swore that it wasn't oh, going it... to, but oh. we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> there will be there will be, <laughs> there will be similarities of this. There's no question because there are there was an outline that they were given and they're following that rule. I told you, man. The f- dreams of summer, or whatever they want to call it, that's not happening. That's not dream being of written. Whatever yeah. they want, yeah. Dream of spring. That's not gonna be written by Marin. I right. am right. like ninety nine point nine percent sure that we will not see that written by Martin. I will bet that he will write half that book at least. Oh God, I no. I'm not. You guys could do that. I'm not betting on this fucking series and that fucking author. I don't want any part of that. I will bet we will get half of that book from him without a doubt. If not all. Okay, I mean that I'm, that's fine. I just think that there will be somebody else, like as uh, as the author on there. If it's not, it's like if it's, if it's not shared, it's gonna be you know someone solo, someone else. But it could be shared. I, I that's fine. But I don't see him doing it, finishing it. Hmm, he just yeah. I don't know. It seems like he doesn't care. I, absolutely, he doesn't care. Because if he cared, it'd be done, and he'd stop doing all this other fucking bullshit. No, I'm gonna make a promise. You're not gonna wait as long for Feast of as you did for Feast of Crows. He made that promise oh. after he wrote 
uh, Storm of Swords, actually, that Feast of the Crows was coming out almost immediately, and then it took three years. And then it took eight years between Feast of the Crows and Dance with Dragons. So I, I remember this whole sequence because I was, I was reading them then. I was reading them then. So I lived it. I lived it. Yeah. So, all right. Box office, guys. Uh, Dunkirk. Uh, oh, actually, Dunkirk lost. Uh, it was gonna. It just barely lost to Dark Tower, which had a shitty opening. The this box is the office, worst weekend in the long. Summer's time. over, boys. Yeah, the box Summer's office. Over. But the box office this year, just in general, has been shit. Like hmm. it has been down. Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell that to Beauty and the Beast. That's, that's or Guardians. Don't tell, it, don't tell that to Disney. But everybody else is performing. That's really weird. Yeah, it's been or it's Wonder been a bad Woman box office. Well, it's been there's there's Mike, successes. Mike, there's been like four Mike, movies you, that did wait, way better than expected this year sure? out of okay, okay, but like and ten that wait, we expected wait, wait, to wait, do wait. well. Oh, got it. Oh, I trapped him. Uh, and how many of those <laughs> are superhero films? How many of them are superhero movies? Four Three. of the five you just mentioned: Guardians, Wonder Woman, Logan. Oh, that was yeah. Three. Three of the four. Three of the four. Yeah. And there's fatigue. Where? If they just over for Spider Man. Spider Man is up over Amazing yeah, Spider Man that's 2. Up. That's upward trending. That's according to you. That's another one oh, that didn't underperform. On. That's oh. your criteria. No, it's not. That's a whole different studio. I'm just saying, and that's how did a you, whole different thing. How can you say fatigue when you just rattle off three movies? Let's just forget Spider Man. Let's leave it out of the equation here. Three of the four movies that have overperformed at the box office are superhero films. <laughs> they overperform with adjusted expectations. Everything else, right, Everything else this year is down. Everything else this year is down, but the superhero films and Beauty and the Beast, which doesn't count because that's just an exception to the rule. Doesn't count. It's yeah, an exception okay. to the rule. All I'm saying the is, superhero movies used to be the exceptions, and they're not there anymore. The, the, they used to be the ones doing Beauty and the you, Beast, and they don't. You just get what do you mean? Like, they, yeah, you're right. I, they're not the exceptions to the rule anymore. They are the, but they're the expected, and they overperformed. Those three just rattle off. Were way higher than they expected. Not way, but higher than expected. So was Guardians higher than they expected? No, it was less than expected, and so was Spider Man by the end uh, of it. Sp- what? Well, Where are you pulling these from? Because Where are you pulling that data? Where are you well, pulling we that all, data? We we go back on our podcast, talk about the projections the week before. They were all higher than what they actually were. Hmm. Um, let me just see here. I'm bringing up, I'm go, bringing up Guardians. Go, go on. Guardians. They have these real low ball projections too. What? That seemed lower than anyone would expect, considering the okay history. This before. is from this is an article from Forbes. Okay, in a summer of franchise flops, Guardians Two was a breakout sequel. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm just there. That's Guardians Two. Do you want me to give you more for like we already know Logan over? I, I was the one that I, I was the one that asked. I, I, I did, wasn't sure. I didn't know because I, I mean we all liked it. I mean it's a good movie and it definitely performed great. I just didn't know what the expectations were. Predictions. I don't remember. So yeah, uh, Wonder Woman clearly overperformed. Yep. And Logan clearly overperformed. We'll see know. how Justice League does. I'm just saying, Mike. You rattled off three movies. Uh, you didn't know what you were doing. You rattled off three movies, though. They're all three were superhero films and. I'm, and it's all three all that released four. this year, huh? I gave you four movies, and the biggest one was not a superhero film. No, it's still. I mean, it's Beauty and the Beast. It's Disney. And again, if uh, Spider Man and Wonder Woman, and even Guardians were released two years ago, those projections would have been higher. But the whole point we're making is that the box office is down this year. It, wait, that's yeah, the it's whole down. point. Every of week this to week, this box office has been down. And the only movies besides being... some, some earlier ones in the summer maybe, but the earlier ones. Like I'm not saying weren't. I'm not saying that there's been no other movies that overperformed, but the ones that come to mind and get out of, overperformed. Yeah, yeah. But the ones that like really straightforward yeah, yeah. like come to mind on the list. Either way, on the list either way are superhero films that you're saying are fatigued. They come to mind to us because those are no, the no. ones we're following. No, let's, let's <laughs> forget what come to mind that are on that are list of overperforming. Overperforming are superhero films. Which are apparently being fatigued from you, like they're they're in yeah. a fatigue, but they're overperforming. But they're fatigued. They're, they're not overperforming. They're performing better than two months out lower projections. They're performing less than though, like one week out projection when they get all the hype going. But whatever. And again, these projections are less than they were 
would have been the years before. Logan, Logan, but had, whatever. A budget, Logan had a budget of $97 million and it did 616 Okay. That's pretty good. I know it's pretty good. It's also a different kind of superhero movie that we haven't seen before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just because <laughs> they shoot a different kind of superhero movie doesn't mean it's not a superhero movie, Mike. Well, it combats uh, the fatigue problem when it's different. God. Anyways. I don't even want I would to talk kinda... about this anymore. This is dumb. Well, this is Jim wanted to say this when I brought up the explanation that not all movies did bad this year. Yes, Jim and nobody said all break. movie. Nobody said all movies. The box office is down this year, but you the gave me the box office during the summer is definitely down. Yes, but before that, the pre-summer spring was doing pretty well. It's got Beauty and the Beast in it, <laughs> and Logan. Yes. Two. Right. Anyways, uh, at number one was was uh, the Dark Tower, which underperformed. Um, big time. Big time, yes. At $19.7 million. Num- At number two was Dunkirk, uh, which is now at $17 million that week. I don't have the list open right now. I'm just going off of memory. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> uh, Emoji Movie, $12 million somehow. God. <laughs> Girls Trip and Kidnap is your top five. Emoji Movie's at... at $49. $49 million. What is Kidnapped? I, I don't know. That's a Halle Berry disaster vehicle. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. She's still doing movies. Um, she just apparently. likes to put people out of business or something. That's her job. <laughs> She's <laughs> she has not done anything good in a very long time. All right. So in your top, I'm just gonna one last. This is it. One last, one last conversation, Mike, about this. In your <sighs> top ten movies of 2017, how many would you say are superhero films? Six. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. So half of them. All half. Right. Uh, in fact, that's, I think, all of the superhero movies that were released this year. Yep. There's only been five. So. Yes. And there's only been five. And they are all in the top five. Uh, well, uh, Lego Batman's in number eight. <laughs> so, But they're all in the top ten of okay. this year. So, that's all I'm saying. There's no fatigue. <laughs> Whatever you There's say. No fatigue. If you, I'm giving you number. I'm giving you numbers, Mike. Yeah, just, you can make your numbers say whatever you want, but the biggest thing is we're not say, seeing yes, the I same can make them say types whatever, of numbers because that's that what we they're used saying. to get from these franchises. Anyways, where's Iron Man three? Iron Man three was a shit movie. What did it do? <laughs> that's I'm not talk- happening I'm anymore. I'm talking this year. I know. I'm talking about this year compared to a few years ago when movies like that were coming out. All right, That's all right. what I mean. So you're saying if Iron Man 4 came out, it would not do a billion dollars right now? Yes. Okay. Even though Captain America did a billion dollars last year. Uh, Iron Man 3 was the number two movie. <laughs> Avengers 3. For yeah. the record, for the record, <laughs> Iron Man 3 was the number two movie of 2013 for the year. That's the point. I know. That's Mike's point, Jim. What? That it's yeah. Huge just, numbers. Huge numbers back then. You're not getting the. <laughs> what do you mean? Every year, they're in the top. There's Guardians and Cap were number. His three. point is that the, it's not the same now the as Man it was 4 then. Comes out, there's it's a not little be bit the of a drop off. It's not huge, but there's a little bit of a drop off since a few years ago. Yeah, because there's no in... point there. And again, we got to move on from this, guys. But the, the whole thing was. Saying that Iron Man three is gonna make more, will will have made more money than next a sequel to it. That's all. Oh, I don't think so. But we'll see. I would like to see it. Well, we won't see an Iron Man four, unfortunately. But you know, whatever. Um, all right. Let's get into the movie news then. Uh, we're gonna kick it off with TV TV news. Well, sort of TV news. The a new Karate Kid series is in development with Ralph Macchio and the guy that played Johnny. I can't remember his name. <laughs> it's gonna be on YouTube Red. Coming out in 2018, a sequel that happens 30 years later in the Karate Kid universe. Yeah, I don't know about that. Here's the synopsis. 30 years after the event of the 1984 All-Valley Karate Tournament, a down-and-out Johnny Lawrence seeks out redemption by reopening the infamous Cobra Kai dojo, reigniting his his rivalry with now-successful Daniel LaRusso, who has been struggling to maintain balance in his life without the guidance of his mentor, Mr. Miyagi. Still sad that guy died. Uh, the show is about two men addressing past demons and present frustrations. The only and present frustrations the only way they know how through karate. Is this show called Cobra Kai? 
Uh, I think so. Right now it's just the Karate Kid, but it's, I think it is going to be called... Oh, it is t- titled Cobra Kai. Yes. And it's going to be on YouTube's subscription service. YouTube Red. Yep. I thought YouTube Red was a porn site. No, that's... No, no, that's, uh, uh, <laughs> no, that's. I think I it's called. There's a couple of them like that. That's like there's a couple of them like that. One. I'm just saying, it sounds like a porn site. Like, yeah, uh, it's a bad name. It shouldn't exist anyway. No one who gets YouTube content wants to pay for something similar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I'll give it a chance because I'm a big Karate Kid fan, so I'll, I'll give it a shot. I gave the. Jackie Chan won a chance also. Yeah, well, yeah, I did too. You're right. But that was not karate, either way. No, not at all. But it's called... interesting. That's kind of interesting. I mean, it, it's using, like, Ralph Macchio's character and the Johnny character. So that is that is interesting to me, too. So I'm curious to see how they do it. And if it's going to be a comedy, I'm a little less excited for it. But Yeah, I don't know why they're going for com- like comedic. Because the question. whole the whole concept is so stupid, <laughs> you can't do it the another way. Yeah, but you're using the same characters. You I mean, can't same take it that seriously. Well, well, I know. You know what though? It worked. What if you, you have, because because that was the eighties. In the eighties, yeah. you could take a certain level of cheesy as a cheesiness that you can't take seriously right now. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta we'll see how they do it. I mean, it I, I'll find a way to watch it. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to stick with streaming news and talk about how Dis- Disney is now pulling away from Netflix from their agreement that they have. <laughs> so Disney is now going to start their own streaming service starting in 2019. Netflix God. is in trouble. Fuck, man. Yeah. Just... The more of this because... happens, we need... We need... Yeah. One service I don't think Netflix like is in big trouble. It's just I just need something to just – I want to be able to – all my content, all my streaming no, services in one it's place. It's getting worse. Well, what first Netflix fuck? this month actually lost all its like DCWB stuff, like Did all really of those month? cartoons. Yeah. Wow. Because of the DC oh, streaming service coming soon. So Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Young Justice, which a lot of us would like to catch up on it now, is gone because it's all going to – I don't even know if it's going to be on the DC streaming service, but I know it's new stuff this, will be on there. This is the way we're going, guys. And I mean, the same thing is happening now with Disney, who just made this deal, really, it seems like, to put all their stuff on there. Now they're like, well, Netflix oh. paid a lot of money to get Star Wars. Yeah. 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 And now – with that. Yeah, yeah. So what's Netflix going to be left? With? Here's you're well, right. That's why they're doing original series for the past couple they've been, of years. Yeah, they saw this happening though. That's what I'm trying to say is they they've seen this happening. The writing was on the wall for them a while ago, and they've made a lot of Netflix originals. Uh, Hulu's mm-hmm. now doing the same thing, but they're behind. Oh, like they're almost half and half. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, that's their goal is half they, and half. They've they've saw they saw this happening. So Netflix I mean, they just is still signed a service. huge deal with anime. The, the way this so is happening, yes, fucking yes, anime. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Out. I forgot to put it on the news, but they have their own uh, anime originals yeah. coming out. Uh, which and is that's great. fun. All yeah. these other companies can try to do it. Disney probably is the one that entity that could be successful. Like DC, like fuck them. They're not going to get shit. Yeah, They're going to cancel watching... that within a year or two, I, I, I bet. Like I'm fucking crawling back to Hulu and Netflix. I'm watching Young Justice and that's it. I'll cancel it after that. But the best like, part... You can't tell me that there's anybody that's going to pay the equivalent of Netflix to watch just DC shit. No, no, no. And not $8 a month. Or not, it was $10, yeah. $10 a month. Like, I don't so. care. I love Young Justice. I will find alternate ways to fucking... Watch that then. Yeah, yeah. I think that um, I mean, this is the way we're going, though. It's a matter of pricing, really. Uh, these these subscription services can't corporate be... Corporate greed. No, Corporate but... greed. That's all it is. It, no, it's not. And I, I actually like the model that we're going to. Let me explain. I like what we're going with the different subscription services because this is the idea of freedom of cable where you can get the channels that you want. The problem that sure. I have, the problem that I have, is the pricing model that they're going with, which is like ten dollars a month. It should right, be that's should, corporate greed. Yes, yeah, yeah. because yeah, it's yeah. A, originally it was something a catch-all type of thing, and now it's not. Yeah, the I, idea behind this is like something like Canada, where they can buy a channel for two dollars a month. Right, that's it's all the a idea. Piecemeal, like yeah. piecemeal yeah. your cable service. But here. that's, what that's what it, it's want. just gonna become I, cable soon. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> Down the but road, that's not no, what we're it's getting. not. No, we want individual channels, Mike. I want individual channels. I watch like twenty channels out of you're my. Not, you're gonna get like, like seven channels, all costing like fifteen dollars a month. Got to choose, pick and choose which ones you want. That's no, what's no, gonna I'm happen. I'm telling you that that's that's not that's not what I want. What I want well, is that's really, what's gonna happen. But that's not what's they, happening. You keep like, getting these streaming the model, services that take their own content to 
you're going to get the same thing that happened. How do you think we got where we got in the history of TV with well, cable and how the, it worked out? The model Over is, time, that's how it happened. The Canadian model is one channel at a time. You can buy it for $2 a month. I'm yeah, just saying so. that's the model I want. I'm trying to tell you that while you're rambling mm -hmm. here. You're talking about this. I understand what I you're know, saying, but I don't. But just, that's not, what not we... going to happen. This isn't Canada. No, it's not. <laughs> things are things aren't going to work out that way. When and the CBS is got, that's company. where Star Trek's going to be, right? Yeah, and I'm going to subscribe to that until Star Trek. I'm, I'll probably wait until Star Trek's near done, and then I'll subscribe and watch it all. Yeah. Binge it. I mean, that's the biggest the biggest problem with these is that you need to have a vast library of content to be able right. to throw on there disney sure, has sure. that obviously oh yeah yeah disney that's not like you know, disney like doesn't said, have disney content. could get away with disney yeah. could get away right. with. do Especially... you guys think that in the future if this disney thing is um successful that all the marvel netflix shows end up off of netflix and on there yeah yeah, yeah i think so yeah i but like Corey, uh from somebody you don't have actual cable right no. Okay, so I don't now, have cable now let me say if disney's gonna give you espn and their disney service for 9.99 a month are you doing it uh, it depends on what like they're offering, but yeah, I mean, if Disney is including the Marvel and the Star Wars, the Lucas Arts stuff, like Lucas stuff, I mean, then that makes it much more valuable. Yeah, and then and then, when, and then ESPN as well. That's what I'm thinking. Like if it's ten right, bucks and, a month for ESPN, ESPN, yeah, ESPN, sure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it makes it much more worth it. Like ten dollars a month for that is worth it. Yeah. DC, no, like that needs to be like no, three to four. There's or just $5. not enough, not enough content with it. Right. Uh, you're right. DC should not have its own streaming service. It should $5. be done. I want to pay five dollars. And then if you want to watch four, my Netflix subscription is ten dollars a month. I'm yeah. not paying DC five dollars. No, it should You're be three. It should be two ninety nine a month. It should be two ninety nine a month. That's the. Or story. it should just be like say on Netflix. It shouldn't exist. Fuck yeah. shit. No, like yeah. I understand that. The, I mean, the, the DC stuff may be like a Warner Brothers thing too. Like they, who knows? They might throw Warner Brothers yeah, shit yeah. in there. It might be. It might be. Yeah. I hope. But this is what I'm talking. It's it does seem likely All of them... because they just threw Matrix onto Netflix. On those things. Yeah, but that, so. that, that could have been years and it, it done yeah, years ago. Deal, that's that's are, how all these yeah, companies work. Yep. They're done years okay. in advance. I mean, we heard about the Disney deal like two years ago, I feel, at least. So all this other stuff yeah. is just coming I mean, out. I mean, the Marvel Amazon. Netflix stuff took like a couple of years to get yeah. on there. Yeah. So all these companies just see Netflix and Hulu doing well and they want a piece of their pie. They think they can do their own thing. Great for them, but you know what? I doubt it's going to work out for most of them. It because... depends. Again, like giving the CW a little credit here, you can watch their shows for free. You mm -hmm. just have to, you know, get, sit through the commercials. But that's fine. If you want to do, like, have your own streaming service and have it free, but put commercials on it, I'm okay with that too. Sure. Sure. I, I do that. That's a fair, fair trade, but, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um,. What else we have here? Defenders. Let's keep talking about streaming. Uh, Defenders is uh, being talked about how it's a one-off show. So uh, what does that mean? So what it sounds... So. It's contracts. That's what this... Again, going yeah. back to contracts, this is what they ordered. They ordered four different shows uh, plus one, one season of Defenders. And the only reason Defenders is eight episodes because that's what was spelled out in the contract. Yeah. That's what it sounds... It sounds to me... Yeah, it sounds to me like... Um, they got to renegotiate. They need to renegotiate or... Renegotiate or they need to. Uh, I mean, the other thing is, it, it could also be um, their crossover event, like CW does. Uh, this is an eight-episode crossover event, so I mean, that's that's. I mean, they may plan something different next time. Yeah. So that's why they only did yeah. it once. So. Or but maybe defenders. Like, but wouldn't you say like a one-off show? What does that mean for the viewer? Like who? Like whatever regarding the contract. As of right now, there's no stuff. tentative plans Don't for Defender expect season Defender two. season two. That's all I'm saying. All right. If Defenders it does well, 2 is going to be on the Disney streaming service. It, it might be, <laughs> but I doubt it, because the contract is still with Netflix at that point. And Disney can destroy contracts with its power. Apparently, because they just had signed this with Netflix. I'm shocked that this is being talked about right now. Like They had just signed this big deal with Netflix. Uh, so I'm shocked that they're able to just separate themselves. And it's well, we don't have the considered. details of the contract. No, we don't. But, uh, you know, I'm sure there's... There's probably clauses in that you know, yeah. for other. Like, it, did, it took probably a while. Like, hey, if we give you your money back, we don't have to. We can pull the shit off. Like, yeah. we don't know that. And and with the money that they make, they're like, sure. So you guys saw back. the latest trailer for Defenders, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think one so. The one. Probably yeah. last Maybe. week. Maybe. I'm last trying week. to go in dark at this point. It's so close. Like, I just thought it was interesting that the logo for Marvel is not the new logo. It's the old logo. Oh, really? So that just makes it even more obvious that it's not 
having anything to do with cinematic or ABC stuff. Yeah. Well, right. Marvel Studios yeah, is specifically obviously. their um, their film crew. That's what I thought. Okay. I, yeah. I I just know the chance. It was all like I was like, oh, like, I thought I'd see the new a new a, a new logo. Right, and it just comes back to you know, um, I what Perlmutter just being fucking dead. Yeah. All right. Uh, lastly, we have um, cable. The cable image revealed. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. I think it looks good. I like it. Yeah. I like uh, that we didn't speak about it when it came out, but the domino image was out. Oh, yeah. The domino. The oh, yeah, yeah. The domino. I like she the domino. did the same uh, pose as, as the first image of Deadpool, which was pretty cool. And she's on a Deadpool rug, yeah. which was funny. Uh, I think they did a good job with both those characters. Mm-hmm. I, um, he looks a little thin. Like than what Hello. I would hope people would be, yeah. but that's I mean that's that's real people. So. Yeah, it's called it's called real proportion. So, but I think it looked good. Besides that, so it's, it's <laughs> he was real. a big '90s comic character. So, people don't look like him. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's weird seeing Josh Brolin in, in that role, and then we're gonna see him as Thanos in, in like a year or less than a year. Yeah, so. like, he doesn't look like himself in that though. Yeah, no, I that's mean true. you won't really see him. I don't think at all. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're what? See it looks just like Thanos. It, Thanos look like looks. Si- nah, Thanos has this. Has, oh, yeah. Thanos has the look there, of There's Brolin. a little bit of resemblance yeah. for probably the most. That's the idea behind capture, motion capture. But... Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing as Hulk. Dude. When you look at Hulk, dude, I mean, the Iron, like the Eric Banner, Eric Banner. What's it? Get? Mark Ruffalo. There it is. Yeah. Right. Well, if you compare that one, him that one was to on the TV, Eric by the way. one, you're like, oh yeah, I can see. You can see but it. Other yeah, than that, like Thanos, I don't. Yeah. See, I don't even see it really. But well, I, I don't know if we had a real look at him yet either. And he says, like, we got to do it yourself. And takes the glove, the gauntlet. Yeah, well. And he was sitting probably, in the chair. That was him, too. He's in probably Guardians. going to look a bit different when we see him for real in Infinity War. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to have different de- decor as well, different wardrobe. So, All right, let's get into what we've been up to. We've talked about Game of Thrones already. Corey, anything else? I watched the Ozark show on Netflix. Ozark. It's uh, Jason Bateman. It's his, like... He's a money launderer, oh. and uh, basically, he uh, his partner and him have this like their these financial advisors. His partner steals eight million dollars from the boss, but uh, he didn't know about it. So he's uh, he, the boss, like the Mexican cartel guy is gonna kill him. But he's like, no, I can I can wa- I can launder money. I can get you like five hundred million dollars in whatever it, years it's gonna take. And so he um, says, I, it, it goes to the Ozark, which is like this no pl- nowhere place in Missouri that's basically like a redneck place. <laughs> uh, and he has to try to figure out how to laundry money in that area because he told the Mexican cartel he would. And uh, it's really interesting. It's got a very much, it's like a, got a Breaking Bad vibe to it where, you know, it's got this character who you want to like, but he's doing bad things. Uh, he's got his family's involved. The characters are really well done. Um, I think this some of the side characters are very like interesting, and um, it's 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 pretty good. I have to say it's not mind blowing or like like really original, but it's a it's a pretty good Netflix show, and I like Jason Bateman a lot, so yeah, he's fantastic good. in it. That's good. Cool. Uh, I have one episode left, I think. Cool. Or so. Cool. Yeah, I don't really. Besides Game of Thrones, I'm trying to think of what else I watch that's like relevant for the the, the our, our podcast. I mean, I've watched American Ninja Warrior, which uh, <laughs> I'm I'm actually considering like trying the Ninja courses. By the way. Very uh, cool. Yeah. Um, there's one. I just. What's his one name? Up. Uh, when they oh. did the celebrity thing, the one guy. Um, his like his uncle has a whole gym set up for his kids to do like ninja warriors down by where your old school used to be uh is one right right, yeah. around, right around the corner so uh i'm gonna i might go down there and try it out uh right i first have to get my knees looked at because i have to get an mri on tuesday um so yeah that's gonna be fun but after that i might go I'll do the it. salmon ladder jim once you just do a salmon ladder well, I could upper, it, ninja warrior is all upper body anyway so that's I'm what i'm saying like yeah, just yeah. do that yeah, so. yeah, there could be some rough landings here or there, though. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah, run up a wall. It gives me a little now. bit of pause. It's, it's not ACL with, with me either way. <laughs> it's just um, it's something else right now. Uh, but uh, not ACL is confirmed, Mike. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, so I'm looking. That's I watched Ninja Warrior, which is a great show to watch. I really the finals are on the city finals, and they just uh, you know so I watched those. Uh, nothing really for me besides that. I went I went to start watching 
uh, Voltron, and uh, I instead queued it up because um, I'm going away this week. Tomorrow night I'm, I'm actually going away. Uh, I'll be back on Sunday, so I'll um, I'll be Just watching. Downloaded it all. Yeah, yeah. I'll be watch. It's all offline, so I can watch it. I'll be watching that out there. So there's not much to do out there, but like read a book. So I'll be watching the show, and I'll be caught up. So, uh, Tony, I'm, did you watch I it? I hope you're. Yeah, I hope you're getting more than that because. You know it's a short season, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only, it's only seven this. episodes. I have, I do yeah. actually, literally have a, I legitimately have a book to read too. Okay. So, yeah, but uh, that I figured I can actually get that out of the way. Uh, a couple episodes, episodes of Supernatural as well, which I'm behind on. Uh, I never finished last season of that, so uh, I'll be watching that too. But um, you know, and I'm bringing my um, Switch out, so I'll be, you know, playing the Switch out there. Uh, Splatoon cool. two, which I picked up, but that's on the next podcast. Right. So, uh, Tony, what have you been watching? Uh, Voltron. Yeah. So is it good? There's seven, oh epi- seven God, episodes. So awesome. Yeah. It's what? Yeah, it, dude, it's so good. Like, um, I'm a we leg. got we got a lot. Of, yeah, exactly. We got a lot of backstory. Um, without being too sway, we got a, a we get a lot of cool stuff happening in the present. We get to see some stuff in the past. Um, there's some cool things that they do to really pull on the nostalgia strings. If you watch the first. Like original series, oh, I did. Yeah, I just did. gonna just gonna say it like that. Awesome. Uh, it's really cool. One of those moments where I was like, "Oh shit!" And literally, like I audibly said that out loud. I was like, "Oh shit!" Um, it was a cool nod. So the writing on the show is amazing. Characters, uh, for the most part, awesome. I think a couple, one or two, kind of regressed. The other ones, um, I think, are starting to really develop. Uh, if you liked Avatar: The Last Airbender or Legend of Korra, you really owe it to yourself to watch this show. Yeah. And um, looking forward to the second half of the season, which is coming out in October. I guess it's doing really well because I see the toys everywhere now. I know when season two came out, I had a hard time finding stuff. So definitely go out, support that, and looking forward to them. I'm pretty sure they have a New York Comic Con channel again this year. So yeah, I'll be checking that out without a doubt. Yep. So that's cool. Anything else you've been watching? Uh, else? No, but I, I started reading um, My Hero Academia again. Oh, reading it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, reading yeah. the manga. So that series is really cool. I'm glad uh, I started watching slash reading that. Um, which is a cool take on like the like the whole like superhero shtick because it's like you know mm-hmm. American stuff with that, the Japanese spin on. It. I'm gonna cue that up too because I'm I'm like 15. Definitely episodes cue behind. that up. Yeah, yeah. I'm 15 definitely episodes behind on that. that so I'm yeah. also I've got to go to the backlog of that. So I'll definitely cue that up. Good call. Cool. Yeah. Hulu can do offline, right? Uh, I think so. I hope so. they should be able to. If not, I'll I'll find another. Service You'll find a way. <laughs> Yeah. You are. <laughs> so, I, I think there's like slow internet there, so I can at least um, queue up things and maybe download some stuff and, and get it like. But there. it's not 4K, Jim. How are you going to live without 4K? Yeah, I'll try. I mean, once you've got 4K. What do you, you have a Kindle? I, I'm going to bring the Kindle, and uh, I might just bring my laptop, actually. I've done it last year, and uh, I'll probably just bring my laptop, actually. Uh, <laughs> I do have my Kindle, though, for, um, for reading, and uh, I'm going to do some comic books on that. So. You know, I'm, I'm planning all this stuff, and I may not watch. Darth Vader is good. You should read that. I have read mo- uh, a lot of it in the beginning. I watched the. I read the first um, eight, eight books, I think. So mm-hmm. I'm pretty far into it. Um, but I, yeah, I did like that. It was a, I, I was on, on Marvel Unlimited for a little while, and I got to read a first few of those. So uh, right now I'm I'm finishing. I got to finish up Planet Hulk, uh, and and then nice. I'm gonna do um, Infinity Gauntlet. Is the, is the one after that? So nice. yeah. I actually started reading the um, Joss Whedon run of. Uh, I have that too. X Men. Yeah, I have yeah. that too. That's yeah. really good actually. Yeah. Astonishing X Men is that what? Yeah, it? I think it's that's, that's yep. what it is. Yeah. yeah. I have that too because I bought that when, uh, during that sale, so uh, for like sixty four cents. <laughs> so it was ridiculous. Uh, Mike, what have you been watching? I don't watch anything, but I have actually read comics. Um, oh, it's a comic. I've been talk. reading. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been reading uh, the. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Cataclysm. The thing that comes before No Man's Land and Batman. No Man's Land was one of my favorite stories that I read. And that was around like 2000, 99, 2000. Um, Prelude to it, the Cataclysm, which is basically the storyline, is an earthquake hits Gotham, like a big one. And obviously it's on the East Coast, so it's not prepared at all. So what happens? Um, And while it's okay, it's really not as good as No Man's Land. It's like a year or two before, and it feels more '90s, I would say, than No Man's Land. Hmm. And some of the some of the artwork is like just bad, just flat out bad. 
and some of the some of the dialogue is kind of like hammy too. Like people were like, "Get out of there, man! What are you doing?" Like stuff like that. Mm. But uh, it, it's still okay. I'm I'm getting through it. It's not too bad, but uh, not as good as No Man's Land was, unless I'm remembering it with rose-colored glasses. But it's okay. <laughs> That's it, though. Right. I don't watch anything for real, though. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to wrap up the movie cast episode. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Nope. Uh, so uh, thanks for tuning in, listeners and viewers. Uh, write us podcast at allingeek.net. Follow us on Twitter at allingeek. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tune in next week. Uh, at least I'll have a lot of stuff of what I've been watching. I know that. And uh, I'm going to be definitely playing some Splatoon and stuff, so that would be cool too. Uh, tune into the Gamescast coming up next. Thanks. <laughs>